Hey there! You came to the right place to make your own hat rack. First of all, you're going to need your own pole. It can be a wooden pole, about the size of your height, however high you want it. It can be a metallic pole, doesn't really matter. And what you're going to need is some hangers from somebody's closet. Specifically these, because these are um, flexible and plastic and cheap too. First of all, you're going to need your own projectile slash foundation. I, bought, I brought a couple of my, um, my textbooks I don't use anymore in ceramics class. And what you're going to do is put your pole into that slot you made. So it's nice and sturdy. You want a good foundation or else it's not going to work. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a joke. Alright. You're going to take your, your hanger. You're going to loop it through. Nice and slow. Nice and fast. Nice and slow. Nice and fast. Now, what you're going to do with the hanger is you're going to... You're gonna take the hooky part, I call this the fish, fish hook. You're gonna bend it back. Get, get this angle right here, get, bend it back. And it's gonna go against, actually, it's gonna go against the pole. Whoa, whoa, magic! Now you take your second one, second time. Now what you wanna do is do the same thing, right? But, as you loop it again, you want to hook it against the other, Yeah, you want to hook it like this, and then hook it up so it's, this top part is stronger and stable. If you feel what I'm saying, oh, I got three levels now. Looking beastly, looking good, looking sexy. Oh, I got four levels now. So what we're going to do is just tighten, tighten the bolts on the uh, foundation. You have your own homemade hat rack. Yeah! It's my new invention. Oh yeah? Yeah. Where'd you get it from? I took your clothes hangers and I owned them. <laughs>